Well, the U Albany men's basketball team has punched a ticket to the NCAA tournament, and with a win on the road over Vermont yesterday, the Great Danes found out just minutes ago that they will play Duke on Friday. And Kelly O'Donnell is with the team. He joins us live from the Sefcu Arena right now to fill us in. They got to be excited, no matter who they played, Kelly. Well, absolutely, there was going to be a celebration regardless. But Duke Friday playing in Philadelphia, the 15th seed. It seems to be the perfect storm, and joined by UAlbany men's basketball coach Will Brown. And based on the reaction, coach, it seems like that was best-case scenario for you guys. Well, you know, we're happy to be playing in Philadelphia. I think it's easy travel. Uh, it's convenient for our fans. The tough part is, that, in my opinion, Duke is the best basketball team in the country. They played, uh, you know, basically the back half of ACC play without Ryan Kelly, uh, who's a pro. And I think with Ryan Kelly healthy, they're the best team in the country. So good thing is Philly, tough thing is uh, Duke. But when you're a 15 seed, you're going to play an elite team, um, an elite program. And uh, we got that with Duke. When you talk college football, everybody says Notre Dame. When you talk college basketball, they say Duke. So we have our hands full. In college basketball, you always talk about the body of work and what that means moving into the NCAA tournament. You could have been a team at a play-in game or a 16 seed, but because of 24 wins and everything you guys accomplished, uh, you got the 15 seed. Well, I think 24 wins, winning our conference tournament, having uh, double-digit wins on the road, you know, going 8-3 and three in our last 11. We have a BCS win on the road against Washington. That probably all factored in, but I think the way we finished the year probably helped us get a 15, and uh, now we're going to try to make the most of it. That's all, Coach. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I'm going to quickly bring in uh, Jacob Yachty, senior guard. And, Jacob, just a, a thought on playing against Duke, uh, one of the most storied programs uh, in college basketball history. Yeah, I mean, they're Duke for a reason, and Coach K is Coach K for a reason. So well, they've been good for a million years. They'll be good for a million more years. But, you know, it's a tough challenge. We're excited about the opportunity. And, you know, we're going to go in with the mindset that we're going to win the game. You know, you don't want to show up ever for a game thinking you're going to lose. So, you know, I don't mind playing the underdog role for one more game. We've been playing it for most of the year so far, uh, as it seems. But, yeah, we're excited about the opportunity and happy with which what's in front of us. Perfect, Jacob. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Best of luck on Friday. And this is not the only UAlbany team that is dancing 24 hours from now. Same room, same celebration, only with the UAlbany women's team learning their tournament and destination. Just last night, the Albany women beat Hartford 61-52 to in the conference championship game to win their second consecutive America East title. And with that, they're going back to the dance last year. The Albany women played against Texas A&M in the first round, fought them hard, lost the game. The expectations will be a little bit higher this time around as they go back to the dance. And again, that will be tomorrow here at Sefki. They'll figure out who they play, where and when in the first round. And one other note, Union Hockey locked up its spot in the, in the ECAC Final Four, a trip to Atlantic City this weekend with their win over Dartmouth last night. As for RPI, they play their third game of the best of three conference quarterfinal series with Brown at the top of the hour. We will have highlights of that game coming up tonight on CBS 6 uh, News at 11 o'clock. Liz, we'll toss it back to you. Fair enough. A lot of excitement over there. My alma mater, congratulations to the Danes. Our and, sports uh, teams are doing great.